an object from another star system just passed through our cosmic backyard, and it broke every rule we thought we understood about comets. Right now, it's hiding behind the Sunday undergoing transformation we cannot see, and when it emerges in December, we might discover it changed into something completely unexpected. This is 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor that's forcing astronomers to rewrite textbooks. For months, telescopes worldwide track this ancient wanderer. Nearly 100 research papers published trying to explain what they were seeing, chemistry that's inverted, behavior that violates predictions, dust that shouldn't exist. Then it disappeared behind solar glare during its closest approach. Peak heating, maximum activity, the most critical phase happening completely hidden from view. What's occurring right now behind the sun? Will 3i Atlas survive intact or fragment into pieces? The answers are coming in December when visibility returns. But first, Let's understand why this visitor is genuinely extraordinary. Comment below. What would you want to know about an interstellar visitor? July 1st, 2025. Telescope systems designed to protect Earth from asteroid impacts detected something moving, initially ordinary, just another space rock getting cataloged. Then scientists calculated its velocity, and everything changed in that moment. 58 kilometers per second. To grasp why that number matters, imagine Earth's orbital speed. We circle at 30 kilometers per second, perfectly balanced between falling into the sun and escaping its gravity. Mercury, scorched by solar radiation at closest planetary distance, races at 48 kilometers per second because stronger gravity demands faster motion. But this object, 58 kilometers per second while still beyond Jupiter, that velocity means one thing, escape trajectory, not trapped by solar gravity, just passing through on a one-way ticket from the darkness between stars. The mathematics told an undeniable story. This visitor came from interstellar space, traveled unimaginable distances to reach us. And after swinging past our star, it returns to that darkness forever. One opportunity, one chance to study, then gone permanently. Researchers assigned the official name 3i Atlas, the I marking it interstellar. The third confirmed visitor from beyond in human history. Following the bizarre Oumuamua in 2017, and the conventional Borisov in 2019. From that first velocity measurement, scientists knew this one would be different. Three factors immediately distinguish this visitor from anything before. First, sheer size. Oumuamua, maybe 400 meters. Borisov, about one kilometer. Three I Atlas, Estimates suggest up to 5.6 kilometers across. A giant compared to previous interstellar visitors. More mass, more chemistry, more mysteries packed into one ancient object. Second, that extraordinary velocity. Nearly double the speed of earlier visitors. Something ejected this comet with tremendous energy. Perhaps gravitational slingshots past multiple stars. Perhaps acceleration over millions of years building momentum. Whatever launched 3i Atlas into the void did so violently. But third is where things get weird. Space is three-dimensional. Interstellar objects can approach from any angle, above, below, diagonal. Yet. 3i Atlas arrived almost perfectly edge on to the planetary disk, only three degrees off, perfect alignment with the plane where all planets orbit. Imagine shooting an arrow through a spinning wheel from the side, entering parallel to the wheel's surface. That's what happened here. The probability of this geometry occurring randomly, astronomingly low. 
cosmic coincidence, or something about interstellar trajectories we don't understand yet? The question remains unanswered as researchers analyze this impossible approach angle. Like button if you think this geometric alignment is more than coincidence. Backtracking its path reveals something profound. Three, I Atlas came from the thick disk. That's the region above and below our galaxy's main plane where ancient stellar populations drift undisturbed, possibly 7.6 billion years old. Older than Earth, older than our solar system, a fossil from when the galaxy was young. Wandering through darkness for longer than complex life existed on our planet. Astronomers traced its journey backward across 10 million years. During that vast time span, it passed 93 different star systems, but never closely. Nearest approach? 0 0.3 light years. 63,000 astronomical units, never entering any system's inner regions just drifting alone through cosmic emptiness. For 10 million years, 3i Atlas traveled in frozen silence. No stellar warmth, no solar radiation, just absolute cold, barely above zero Kelvin and the faint glow of distant stars. Until now, until orbital mechanics brought it here, until our sun's radiation began heating its ancient surface for perhaps the first time in billions of years, awakening chemistry dormant since formation around a star will never identify. This isn't just a comet. This is a time capsule from the early galaxy delivering physical samples of ancient stellar chemistry. May 7th, 2025. Before official discovery, 3i Atlas appeared in TESS observations. The satellite hunts exoplanets, but accidentally captured this visitor passing through Jupiter's orbital zone. And immediately, scientists noticed something impossible. The object was brightening. Not slightly, dramatically. Simple physics predicted brightness should increase by a factor of 1.5 as it moved closer. Instead, factor of 5. Massive deviation, meaning one thing active sublimation, material releasing into space, forming a glowing coma. But here's the problem that stopped researchers cold. 3i Atlas was beyond five astronomical units, past Jupiter's orbit. Temperatures there are frozen solid. Solar system comets remain dormant at such distances. Activity typically begins between 3 and 4 AU, when heating intensifies. Yet this visitor displayed vigorous outgassing at 5 AU, forming visible coma, releasing material that should remain locked frozen solid. Standard cometary physics couldn't explain this. Then measurements revealed two more impossibilities. Light polarization showed extreme negative values the most negative ever measured from any comet in history. This indicates dust properties completely unlike anything we've studied. Particles formed under stellar conditions radically different from our sun's environment. Something about 3i Atlas composition allowed early activity that violates every thermal model we built studying thousands of local comets. Subscribe now because what spectroscopy revealed next explains everything. When powerful telescopes analyzed the coma, they found chemistry that shouldn't exist. Eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water, complete inversion of normal cometary composition. Every solar system comet shows opposite ratios. Water dominates by similar margins over carbon dioxide. Three, I Atlas chemistry is backwards. This reflects formation around a fundamentally different type of star with different temperature profiles and element abundances. And suddenly everything made sense. Carbon dioxide ice sublimates at far lower temperatures than water ice. Think about dry ice, remove it from deep freeze and it immediately vaporizes. Doesn't need much heating. 
just slightly warmer conditions. At 5 AU, temperatures remain too cold for water sublimation. But carbon dioxide? Actively vaporizing. 3I Atlas carbon-rich composition explains early coma formation that water-dominated comets cannot achieve. The chemistry determines behavior. And this chemistry reveals formation in environments nothing like our protoplanetary disk. But then, late September brought explosive transformation. Water vapor production erupted suddenly, not gradually, blasting outward like a cosmic fire hose at full pressure. Production rates that thermal models said were impossible at 1.5 AU, yet spectroscopy confirmed it. Hydroxyl emission blazing, water molecules fragmenting under solar, ultraviolet, surface ice transitioning to gas at extraordinary rates exceeding all predictions. The chemistry was evolving. Eight to one carbon dioxide dominance shifting toward balanced ratios. Surface layers enriched in volatile carbon dioxide evaporating. Deeper water ice layers becoming exposed. Solar heating progressively unveiling the comet's hidden structure layer by layer. Spectroscopy detected another mystery, metal in the coma, specifically nickel appearing during summer observations, but iron completely absent. This created immediate questions. Nickel and iron form together inside dying stars. Supernovae distribute them throughout space, where they incorporate into new stellar systems. They always appear together. Finding one without the other? Highly unusual. More problematic, metals shouldn't sublimate at temperatures beyond Mars. Metal vaporization requires extreme heating. Yet, spectroscopy clearly showed nickel. The explanation involves entrainment. Vigorous carbon dioxide outgassing, physically dragging metallic particles along. But this doesn't explain iron's mysterious absence. Then, late September, iron suddenly appeared. First detection. And within days, nickel to iron ratios shifted toward normal proportions. 3I Atlas was becoming more conventional. But reaching normalcy through bizarre sequence nobody predicted. Carbon dioxide dominating early, water exploding suddenly, nickel appearing alone, iron joining mysteriously later. Each phase revealing complexity that standard models cannot accommodate. Summer observations detected tail forming, but pointing the wrong direction, toward the sun instead of away. This violates fundamental physics understood for centuries. Solar wind creates comet tails. Charged particles streaming from stellar surface push coma material away from nucleus. Tails always point away from the Sunday, always. As reliable as gravity itself, yet 3i Atlas formed sun-facing tail. The explanation connects to carbon dioxide activity. At large distances, solar wind weakens substantially perhaps insufficient to push material outward effectively. Meanwhile, vigorous sublimation continues, releasing gas and dust that accumulates on the warm, sun-facing side before wind strengthens enough to blow it conventionally. By September, normal tail appeared, fan-shaped structure pointing away as expected, physics finally dominating. But that backward tail demonstrated yet again. 3i Atlas refuses simple categorization. October 3rd provided unprecedented opportunity. 3i Atlas passed within 0.19 AU of Mars, closest planetary approach during its entire journey. And we have cameras there. Perseverance rover, photographed from Martian surface capturing how this interstellar visitor appeared in alien night sky. Not spectacular images. Rover cameras weren't designed for deep space astronomy. Long exposures. Image stacking. Results show streaks more than defined objects. 
But still, documentation of interstellar visitor from another world's perspective, unprecedented in human history. ExoMars Orbiter contributed observations from Martian orbit, better viewing geometry, less atmospheric interference, still insufficient resolution to separate nucleus from coma clearly, but valuable data from dual platforms simultaneously. This Mars encounter represents humanity's closest physical proximity to 3I Atlas. Instruments positioned mere millions of kilometers away instead of vast Earth distances. Brief window, unique geometry, never to repeat in human lifetimes. Right now, something extraordinary is happening, and we cannot see any of it. October 29th marked perihelion, closest solar approach, 1.4 AU, maximum heating, peak sublimation, everything happening simultaneously. Hidden completely behind the Sunday, solar conjunction places the comet directly behind our star from Earth's view. Solar glare blinds all observation attempts. Telescopes cannot point near solar position without being overwhelmed by scattered radiation. Complete blackout during the most critical phase. We documented the approach, watched activity intensifying, measured increasing brightness. Then the comet vanished behind solar disk. Frustrating but unavoidable. What's happening right now? Is the nucleus surviving intact? Is thermal stress fracturing it? Is chemistry transforming under maximum heating? Are new features developing? All questions awaiting December when visibility returns. December 19th brings closest Earth approach. 1 AU separation. Optimal viewing. Every major telescope will observe. Spectroscopy. High resolution imaging. Polarimetry, complete characterization of whatever perihelion created. Then, March 16th, 2026, final encounter. Three, I Atlas passes Jupiter. Juno spacecraft will capture last images before it fades forever beyond detection. Comment what you think is happening behind the sun right now. After Jupiter, three I Atlas continues outward. Velocity carrying it past Neptune, past Kuiper Belt, eventually back into interstellar darkness where it spent billions of years, never to return. One pass, one opportunity, then gone permanently. This ancient wanderer traveled incomprehensible distances to deliver lessons about stellar diversity. That chemistry varies dramatically across the galaxy. That formation around different stars produces radically different outcomes, that our solar system comets aren't universal templates. Nearly 100 papers in four months, each explaining specific anomalies, each revealing that frameworks built studying local comets don't describe interstellar visitors. New models required, deeper understanding necessary. And we're still learning. Perihelion happened hidden. December reveals its effects. March provides final data before permanent departure. Three, IATLAS is teaching us the universe creates more variety than our limited experience suggested. That between stars, travel objects, carrying preserved chemistry from ancient galactic history, that studying these rare visitors expands understanding beyond what local observations alone provide. The interstellar messenger is out there now hidden behind solar brilliance, transforming under forces will measure when it emerges. Subscribe to follow December observations, comment which mystery intrigues you most, and prepare for final encounter data in March before this cosmic time capsule departs our neighborhood forever. This is what happens when visitors from other stellar systems enter our cosmic backyard. They challenge everything, force growth, deliver surprises, and 3 I Atlas is doing exactly that, one impossible observation at a time.